thank you all for joining us. We're here with Chad Womack. He's the principal and co-founder of BICI and the president and chair of TBED 21. Welcome, Chad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, TBED 21 was really born out of my uh, concern that cities like Philadelphia, uh, as a major urban center in this country, were losing out on their ability to compete and thrive in the uh, 21st century global economy. Uh, Philadelphia, like a lot of cities, is rich with a lot of assets and resources and uh, was not really accessing those resources and leveraging those resources to be competitive in the innovation economy. So TBED 21 is focused on enhancing STEM education, workforce development, and uh, commercialization, tech-based commercialization and also is attempting to enhance uh, the opportunities for tech-based entrepreneurs in urban centers. BICI is a similar initiative, although it's a national nonprofit, focused on making sure that black America is connected uh, to the 21st century innovation economy. Like TBED 21, it shares a uh, concentric focus on STEM education, but BICI is heavily focused on what we call high growth entrepreneurship, which is defined by firms and entrepreneur ventures, which uh, expand at a rapid pace, hiring um, uh, employees above a 20% threshold of, of sustained over four quarters. So high growth entrepreneurship, ironically, al al although it's not really talked about a lot, is responsible for 40% of all job growth in this country. So uh, we are very much concerned and focused on connecting black America to innovation economy and also to the national movement that President Obama and the White House have spawned with initiatives like Startup America and uh, some of the other opportunities to uh, get engaged in the innovation economy. So BICI uh, shares some focus that's similar to TBET 21, but is really um, centered on connecting black America to the 21st uh, century innovation economy. TBED 21 was started, um, I'd say about four or five years ago when I was in DC. A group of us got together and were deeply concerned about how uh, urban centers were decaying and how do we connect underserved populations within urban centers to um, resources and assets on the economic development front and making sure that uh, the next generation uh, and the pipeline was robust in terms of producing uh, students prepared to take on STEM careers, as well as cities uh, operating in a different 21st century framework around community and economic development. BICI was started more recently, uh, latter part of 2010, early 2011, uh, by myself, Jonathan Hollyfield, and Mike Green, who really uh, got together around a series of articles that appeared in the Huffington Post that Mike Green wrote uh, that concerned uh, the lack of participation of black America in the innovation economy. And out of that, out of a series of discussions, we decided to uh, uh, create the BICI as a national initiative that would uh, do just that, connect black America, and really uh, galvanize the community around opportunities in the innovation economy. Why is technologically based economic development so important to our city? Quite frankly, it's important for everybody because that's the uh, direction in which the global economy is going and uh, while retail and real estate driven uh, enterprises will continue to play a role, it's clear the knowledge and innovation economy is what's going to drive wealth and global opportunity. So cities like Philadelphia, uh, in order to survive and thrive in the global 21st century economy, are going to have to figure out how do they engage all citizens and opportunities in this space. And what opportunities do BICI and TBED 21 offer specifically for entrepreneurs? Yeah, TBED 21 has created the Philadelphia Biotech Life Science Institute, uh, a component of which is an I2E or invention to enterprise or inventor to uh, entrepreneur program that um, seeks to provide opportunities for university-based entrepreneurs to uh, commercialize their intellectual property and ventures. So that will have a dual effect both in creating a new core of entrepreneurs out of the universities but also helping universities uh, generate wealth for the city. Uh, on the BICI side, we're very much focused on 
underserved and marginalized communities, both black and brown, in Philadelphia to connect them to the opportunities that the innovation economy can afford. So the BICI is actually going to run uh, boot camp programs for entrepreneurs and provide training and education for would-be entrepreneurs who might not otherwise know how to st uh, start up companies or get involved in early stage ventures. Great. Um, considering how fast technology changes, um, what methods and tools have you found are most effective at helping communities to change um, socially and economically to keep up with the rate of changing technology? Yeah, it's a very good question. Um, well, first, uh, it's critical that we build and establish networks using social media. One of the advantages of living in today's world is that we have the internet, we have uh, internet-based applications and uh, uh, software that allow us to network uh, almost instantaneously. So the BICI, for instance, is building what we call the BICI Innovation Nation, which is a social media-based network um, opportunity for uh, would-be entrepreneurs and even more experienced entrepreneurs to connect online and establish an online community. We're also building an uh, e, what we call an e-academy, which will focus on providing high value, high impact educational training uh, modules that expose um, marginalized and underserved communities to what it means to become an entrepreneur. How, how does one get involved in the innovation economy as a participant? And uh, on top of that, we're leveraging the opportunity to connect the social network that we establish with capital. So we're creating deal flow that uh, heretofore really has not existed among underserved uh, populations uh, and entrepreneurs that would not ordinarily have access to capital. Thank you so much for offering these opportunities and opening doors to entrepreneurs in our city. Um, I encourage everyone listening to take advantage of Chad's websites and of his nonprofits. Um, these are excellent opportunities for us. Thanks a lot. Thank you.